Hey, what's happening? My name is Harrison. Um, this is going to be a quicker version of adding a mesh from a file project. So let's go ahead and create a new class. Actor. Uh, add mesh from file to. Alright, so we just have it. Uh, it just created our two files. We don't need the header file right now. Right now, in the includes file, we had to include the construction helpers. This will allow us to use the f object finder function. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to create a variable called cylinder and make it a use static mesh component. I suck at small cylinder. Um, create default object. Default sub object rather. Create default sub object. Uh, use static mesh component. Um, uh, set the text to uh, my cylinder. Now let's find this bad boy. Uh, static. Uh, no, that's not the next step. Um, cylinder, we're going to set it as a root component. Oh, uh, shoot. Get the semicolon in there. Set up attachment. Root component. Now we're going to find this bad boy. Is it static? How's it going? Again, I have my notes on the right side of me. Uh, so I can always hopefully make this as fast as possible. Constructor and constructor helpers uh, f object finder. So we got the f object finder, uh, and we want it to be a use static mesh. That's what we're gonna find. We're gonna find a static mesh. Uh, we want to call this variable cylinder asset. And from here is where we're going to input the path of where our mesh is located on our machine or in the files. Game slash starter content uh, slash shapes slash shape cylinder dot shape dot uh, underscore cylinder. And that's the complete path. So we just created that variable called cylinder asset, which is trying to grab this mesh from a file location. Uh, so we do want to make a check to see. So if we succeed, then let's set up the actor. If we don't succeed, then we'll do nothing. Uh, is it succeeded, right? So if this bool is true, We'll set it up. Uh, first, we're going to set the stack mesh to our cylinder asset. And we're going to set it to the object that it pulled in. Next, we're going to set the relative location. We're just going to set it to where the actor is placed in the world. And it's going to be a vector. Next, we're going to set the scale. And it's just going to be one. Pretty much like the default scale for it. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I probably have some errors. Oh, it's not a vector. We can save it, we can compile it and see if we get any errors. Uh, hopefully there's less errors than last time. Oh, well, we got some. Uh, create default object. Uh, uh, I did that again. I did that the first time. Um, create default sub object. Save that. Uh, set world scale. It's probably something easy. Uh, set world scale 3D. 
That's what I forgot. Save that. So now we should be good to go. Let's drag in our second one. And you can see as soon as we drag it into the world, we already have the cylinder complete. So thank you so much for watching. Um, again, you never have to watch the videos. There should be a GitLog, Git link, a GitHub link down below. So I'll see you guys in the next video.